and outside the playoffs, outside the end of this season, it gives us a lot to look forward to with the teams not currently playing. And you touched on a little bit. Quarterbacks could be making moves right now, whether or not they're retiring or, or making a change. Where do you think some of those big names will go? Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, will Tom Brady stay? What transitions do you think we'll see at quarterback next season? What? Well, I think the initial domino is going to be one, if Aaron Rodgers decides to come back, Tom Brady decides to come back. But the big domino is who's going to make a play for Deshaun Watson, mm-hmm. right? Let's say Deshaun Watson ends up uh, you know, probably not in Miami now. But let's say the Steelers get involved. Let's say somehow the Steelers decide to break tradition and, tradition and make a big move for Deshaun Watson. Or let's say Russell Wilson gets traded somewhere for a couple picks. That team flips those picks for Deshaun Watson. And now we've got Deshaun Watson up in Seattle with DK Metcalf and Todd Lockett. So those are the interesting things. And with Rodgers, you're hearing a lot about possibly Denver. That's why Nathaniel Hackett, you know, his OC in Green Bay is probably in play um, in Denver. But, you know, Aaron's going to be selective. He said he doesn't want to go to a rebuild. And Denver has the tools. They've got a really good offensive line, really good receivers, and they got players on defense, right? They just happen to play in the same division as Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert. And as for now, Derek Carr. But, okay, where does Jimmy G go? Do the Raiders, if they decide to blow this thing up, do they move on from Derek Carr, which I think would be crazy. Derek Carr's a good quarterback. I mean, this is one thing where there's draft, there's not draft picks right now who are going to come in and do what Mac Jones did. Yeah. Right. So it's just really hard to tell. But I do think there's going to be a lot of conversations in the next couple of weeks about Russell Wilson being gone, about Aaron Rodgers, you know being on the move. And then some of the ancillary things, what are the saints going to do is James come back there. There's just, so there's going to be more teams that need quarterbacks than there are going to be top end quarterbacks available. So, and if you are the Buccaneers and Tom Brady says, you know, this is it for me, you tear it down, clean up your salary cap, kind of go through what the Falcons did last year. Like we just have to try to stay competitive while we try to clean up the salary cap issues. Or do they go for broke again? You know, it's, it's a re- going to be a really interesting cycle with some of these top-end executive decisions that have to be made. 